Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi, today I want to discuss about chapter 2 which is kinematic of linear motion. First of all, we go for the linear outcomes. 2.1 is the linear motion. 2.1a is defined instantaneous velocity and uniform velocity. Defined instantaneous acceleration, average acceleration and uniform acceleration. 2.1b discuss the physical meaning of the displacement time, velocity time, and acceleration time graph. 2.3 is the projectile motion. 2.3a describe projectile motion launches at angle theta as well as special cases when theta equal to 0 degree and theta equal to 90 degree. So, what is kinematic of linear motion? Kinematic of linear motion is the studies of motion of an object in a straight line without considering the effect that produces the motion and what causes the motion. There are two types of motion. The first type is linear or straight line motion, consists constant velocity and constant acceleration, for example, free fall. Next type is projectile motion, consists of x component and y component. So first learning outcome is define instantaneous velocity, average velocity and uniform velocity. Before we go for the velocity, we revise what is speed. Speed is rate of total distance travel and the speed is color quantity and the unit of the speed is meter per second. While velocity is a vector quantity but the unit is same with the speed which is meter per second. Average velocity. The average velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. We can write down the equation of average velocity is the change of displacement over time interval or S2 minus S1 over T2 minus T1 and we can write down the average velocity is equal to delta S over delta T. Its direction is in the same direction of the change in displacement. What is instantaneous velocity? Instantaneous velocity is defined as the instantaneous rate of the change of displacement. And we can write down the equation V is equal to dS over dt. An object moves in a uniform velocity when dS over dt equal to constant. And the instantaneous velocity equal to the average velocity at any time. Let's say we have the displacement time graph and this is the increasing displacement time graph. The gradient of the displacement time graph is equal to velocity. Let's say at point Q, the gradient of the tangent to the curve at point Q is equal to the instantaneous velocity at time t equal to t1. Next learning outcome is define instantaneous acceleration, average acceleration and uniform acceleration. Acceleration is a vector quantity and the unit of the acceleration is meter per second square. Now we continue with the average acceleration. Average acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. The equation of the average acceleration is equal to change of velocity over time interval. Or we can write down by using the symbol is equal to V2 minus V1 over T2 minus T1. Or we can write down the average acceleration is equal to delta V over delta T. Direction of the average acceleration is the same direction of the change in velocity. And the acceleration of an object is uniform when the magnitude of the velocity changes at a constant rate and along fixed direction. We continue with the instantaneous acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration is defined as the instantaneous rate of change of velocity. The equation of the instantaneous acceleration is equal to dv over dt equal to d square s over dt square. An object moves in a uniform acceleration when dv over dt equal to constant and the instantaneous acceleration equal to the average acceleration at any time. Next one we go for the deceleration. Deceleration is a negative acceleration. The object is slowing down meaning the speed of the object decreases with time. Now we have the graph of Vt graph and this is an increasing time graph. 
and we have the gradient at point Q. So the gradient of VT graph is equal to the aspiration. The gradient of the tangent to the curve at point Q is equal to the instantaneous aspiration at time T equal to T1. Next learning outcome is discuss the physical meaning of the displacement time, velocity time and aspiration time graph. First, we go for the displacement again time graph. When analyzing displacement time graph, always remember that the gradient of the graph represents the velocity of the graph. For the first graph, the graph is a non-horizontal straight line, so the gradient is not equal to zero. For a slanted straight line, the gradient is constant, so the velocity of the moving object is uniform. For the second graph, the graph is a curve, show that the gradient is not constant. The gradient increases over time, indicates that the velocity increases over time. For the third graph, you can see at point P, point Q, and point R, the point P is the same with the A graph, while for point R, the graph is a non-horizontal straight line with negative gradient. The negative value of the gradient indicates that the object moves in opposite direction. Therefore, this graph represents a motion with uniform velocity in opposite direction. While at point Q, showing a horizontal straight line, so the gradient is equal to zero, which means the object is stationary or the object does not move. Next. Next one is we discuss the velocity versus time graph. When analyzing velocity time graph, always remember that the gradient of the, gr the graph represents the aspiration of the graph. For the first graph, the graph is horizontal straight line, so the gradient is equal to zero, and this means the object moves with uniform velocity, and the aspiration is equal to zero. While for the second graph, the graph is a non-horizontal straight line, so the gradient is not equal to zero. For a slanted straight line, the gradient is constant, so the aspiration of the moving object is uniform. For the third graph, you can see at point A, point B, and point C, the point A is the same with the second graph. The gradient is the positive, mean that the object is speeding up. At point B, the gradient is zero, so the aspiration is zero. And at point C, the gradient is negative, means that the object is slowing down. The next information we must know is that the area under the VT graph equal to the displacement. Next, we go for the projectile motion. What is projectile motion? Projectile motion is the motion of an object thrown or projected into the air, the subject to only the illustration of gravity. The object is called a projectile and its path is called trajectory. So, the projectile motion consists of two components. The first component is the vertical component or Y component. Motion under constant acceleration, AY equal to negative G. While the second component is horizontal component, which is X component. This means that motion with constant velocity. So, AX equal to zero. This is a... Uh, some example of the projectile motion. The X component of velocity along AC horizontal at any point is constant. So UX equal to U cos theta. The Y component vertical of of velocity varies from one point to another point along AC. So the equation of UY equal to U sine theta. This is the equation of velocity at point P and at point Q. So we have the X component, all the X component UX, V1X, V2X and the Y component is UY, V1Y and V2Y. At the point P, 
the x component is u v one x equal to u x equal to u cos theta. While at point Q, the v two x equal to u x equal to u cos theta. While for the y component for the point P, v one y equal to u y minus g t one. For point Q, v two y equal to u y minus g t two. And the magnitude of the velocity at point P is v one x square plus v one y square. Set and v two is equal to set of the v two x square plus v two y square. And to calculate the direction is theta one equal to reverse of v one y over v one x, while theta two equal to reverse of tangent v two y over v two x. So we go for the first question. Figure one show a graph of displacement s versus time t for two cars p and q moving on two straight parallel track. Which of the following statement is true about the motion of this car? So we have the displacement time graph. One is p curve and one is for the q straight line. So what is the answer? A, P, and Q move the same distance in time t one. Correct. Next question is the change in the magnitude of the acceleration a of an object with time t is shown in Figure two. So we have the a t graph. Zero until t is uniform acceleration. T and T D N is the acceleration equal to zero. So which one is more possible answer? The answer is D. Increasing velocity with time. So the this one is uniform acceleration, and the moving with uniform velocity. So you moving with uniform velocity, the acceleration is equal to zero.